What up, what up, what up, ladies and gents, you are back with Mr. Harris, Mr. Joshua Harris on my YouTube. Check out my website, joshuaharris.info. Please like this video, please, right now, like the video. We have to get this messages out. We are here, I am here to discuss the future because if we are not prepared for the future, if we are not preparing today, we will be left behind tomorrow. Let's have a conversation. So, in this video, I wanna talk about how I believe that the black community or whatever you call it at this point is is done for there is no more black community and I believe that if if we are to go forward to some degree we're probably gonna have to move on from thinking in terms of the black community uh, we are probably gonna have to think in terms of no and don't get me wrong I love my people I love the people that look like that look like me I even love white people I love Caucasian people I love Asian people I love anybody that's cool with me because as I've been in sales, I've spoken to thousands of people, I've met thousands of people, and people are genuinely good. Now, sinful, yes, uh, but we all want the same thing. We all want health, success, prosperity, and everything like that, right? So this is not an attack on anyone in particular, including my own people. This is to say that we have to understand that as, as black people, so-called black people, the culture or whatever we've embraced as a community is toxic. It's filled with uh, thottery is filled with thuggery is filled with lack of discipline is filled with lack of accountability it is filled with single motherhood lack of father's dependence on the system um, just just everything that most other nations in America are not focused on at least those who are growing and becoming something we see changes in the Caucasian race and things of that nature uh, but when you look at the, 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 the Asians, when you look at the Jews, the, the Indians, they're, they're not taking on the attributes that we show in the black community. And most importantly, which I'm going to speak on it in a video, in this next video, but not in this video in particular, I'm going to talk about Powernomics by Dr. Claude Anderson. Great book, which was written in the year 2005, was it? 2001. 2001. It is now... 21 years later and I'll go through it in the next video check it out but he basically talked about how if we are not if we are not taking taking these this was a national it says national plan to empower black America 21 years ago 95% of these things still do not exist in black America and the trajectory that we're on as a nation of people is that we're going to be a permanent underclass we're going to be a permanent underclass. Now, I will say that there's still an opportunity to turn things around, in my opinion. There's still an opportunity to provide products and services to our people uh, and, and, and earn a decent income, even possibly get rich, depending upon what products and services you're offering, in my opinion. However, by and large, when it comes to the total, what, 10, 15, 20 million so-called black people that are in America, I, don't, I, don't, I personally don't see how there's a way out uh, there there's a large national solution for all of us or, or some type of agenda for all of us to get on and even now more than ever I still see I still see the the disdain or the lack of communication the lack of understanding that exists between the black woman and the black man and this is not a video to point fingers at who's who uh, was who's wrong we're both wrong we're both wrong but unfortunately I think both sides don't see that we're wrong and with the distractions of social media the distractions of Hollywood and athletes and the media and everything else I don't see the message becoming better where there are actual solutions being presented the mindset and attitude is more so all right you know black men save yourself go that way black women date interracially go that way I mean the numbers still state that we on a majority level, black men still get with black women and marry black men and black, you know, we still marry each other here in America. But the attitudes, you can still see the, the lack of understanding. You can still see the lack of healing that is there. And the government and society and social media and our phones and all this mobile stuff does not help. And I believe it's just further leading down to a destruction of the community and that's why I say that 
for whether you're a black man or a black woman, I don't believe that we should continue to hold on to the culture. Our people, sure, we, and, and this is why I want to make these videos, that's why I'm making these videos, because I want to help our people as much as I can for those who are going to listen. But by and large, I don't feel that we should hold on to this culture, you know, the, do it for the culture, all, all this nonsense. If you see the agenda, they're pushing everybody to be a global citizen because the truth of the matter is that, as the Bible prophesied, we are going to be a one world government. We're going to be a one world currency. We are going to be a one world type of living arrangement where everyone is going to be more connected. We are already connected. But as technology improves, we're going to be even more connected. And I believe that looking 10 years, 20 years ahead, the family is already kind of, the family is already broken. And the laws that they're enacting are further breaking down the family, are further separating men and women. And it's not just black America, it's everybody else as well. We just see it more predominantly in black America. So I say all that to say, maybe it's just time to let certain things go, not give up on our people, just let certain ideas go let the idea of saving the community go especially as a black man because we don't get respect we, we there's, there's definitely a lack of understanding and and even the willingness to comprehend where we're at and so on that note i say screw you know uh, gotta take care of those people that are in my circle uh, my subscribers those, those people who agree with what i'm saying and even get an understanding of where I'm coming from and what I say and just wanting to do better and be better. If I could change the world, great, let's do it. If I can't, if I could just touch one person's live life on on these videos and these subjects, I feel like I'm doing my part. Glory be to the most high and everything. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, stay tuned. The video after this, I'm going to do the re book review on Paranomics. I'll see you soon. Later.